three men allegedly connected to a racist extremist group had their first day in court. WMER2 News Ray Strickland is live in Greenbelt where their court appearance was held just wrapping up. He joins us now live. Ray. Yeah, Kelly, that group you said that uh, these men are allegedly connected to is an extremist group called The Base. The FBI describes it as violent and one that openly talks about committing violence against minorities. When these men were arrested on Tuesday, police found them with multiple firearms in the car that they were driving and about 1,600 rounds of ammunition. And what makes this even more disturbing is according to the AP, when these men were arrested, they were on their way to Richmond, Virginia to attend a pro-gun uh, pro gun ride to protest and uh, to protest and to oppose uh, gun control legislation. Now, here's a picture of one of the men, 27-year-old Patrick Matthews. He currently lives in Delaware, not pictured. Our 33-year-old Brian Limley Jr. from Elkton and 19-year-old William Bill Bro the fourth, who is from Denton. Now, according to the federal criminal complaint, those two men, Limley and Bill Bro, allegedly picked up Matthews, a Canadian national who illegally crossed the border back in August. They brought him here here to Maryland and just last month allegedly made an assault rifle a rifle they later used at a Maryland gun range. Now the men essentially didn't say anything in the courtroom earlier today. One of the men's attorney came out and spoke to us, but he didn't say much outside of he wanted the release of his client, Mr. Bilbro. Now, these men are facing federal gun charges and other charges related to their arrests, and they should be back in court next week. Live in Greenbelt, Ray Strickland, WMAR2 News.